story to tell. By the late 1930s, the Soviet Union had built up a powerful scientific and manufacturing foundation that could design and manufacture a large number of aircraft of all kinds. At the beginning of World War II, Polikarpov I-15 fighters were the backbone of the Red Army Air Force's fighter fleet. Although they quickly became outdated in comparison to the powerful German BF-109 fighters, there was a time when the I-15 became one of the best biplane fighters in the world practice of aircraft construction. Polikapov I-15, also known as Seeger, because of the distinctive shape of the upper wing, which was made according to the current scheme. The use of this scheme helped to improve the forward up view of the pilot and also reduced aerodynamic drag. In total, 3,313 I-15s were produced not to mention 3,437 I-15-3, an upgraded version of the I-15. The first flight was made in 1933 and entered service in 1934. The fighter was easy to fly, was exceptionally stable in flight, distinguished by its remarkable takeoff and landing characteristics and a favorite among pilots. The I-15 had a characteristic design of her time. The Soviet single-seat fighter had a cylindrical fuselage with a radial engine positioned in the front. Behind the engine was a biplane wing assembly. The upper wing had an up-angle look. The girl upper wing of the I-15 was unpopular with some pilots as it was felt to restrict visibility. So, Polikapov Designs Bureau produced a revised version, the i 15 b with a longer span anchor upper wing. Behind the wings was the position of the pilot, sitting in an exposed cockpit. His head and neck were protected from behind by the raised fuselage spy. In general, his line of sight was dominated by the front engine and biplane wings. The empennage was a vertical tail fin with horizontal planes. The undercarriage was two fixed single wheel main landing gear in the front and a small tail wheel. I-15 was 6.1 meters long, 2.2 meters high, an empty weight of 1 ton, and a maximum takeoff weight of 1.7 tons. Polikapov I-15 was equipped with a Svesov M25 9-cylinder air-cooled radial piston engine. 700 horsepower capacity. The fighter could reach top speed of 367 km per hour. Cruise speed was 285 km per hour. Range was 510 km. And service link was 9,800 meters. A rate of climb of 2,500 feet per minute. Regarding weapons, the I-15 was equipped 
with four 7.62mm PV-1 machine guns. It could carry 100kg surf bombs. Additionally, six RS-82 unguided high-explosive rockets ultimately figured into the strike fighter role of the I-15, making for a more valuable battlefield system. Together with the Polycarpov I-16 monoplane, I-15 was one of the standard fighters of the Spanish Republicans during the Spanish Civil War, where it was called Chato. Air battles in the sky of Spain demonstrated the superiority of the I-15 fighter over the main French fighters, the Italian Fiat CR-32 and the German hiker He-51A1. Here, in the sky over Spain, I-15 first met Mi-109 fighters from the Condor Legion. At the same time, the Master Smith pilots used the tactics of surprise attack and quick exit. Regardless of whether they succeeded in knocking down the Republican fighter, the total number of Soviet-built I-15 fighters sent to the Republican forces during the Spanish Civil War was 116. Spain would license build 287 additional examples. In the fall of 1937, the Soviet Union transferred 255 I-15 fighters to China. Accompanied by 250 volunteer pilots. By 1939, the total number of I-15 and I-15B fighters in the infantry of the Chinese Air Force has squared to 347. This was part of a move to help the Soviet Union keep Japanese aggression in Asia in check. Soviet Air Force I-15 fighters also saw action against the Japanese during the short war between the two countries in 1939, with several of them seeing action in the Battle of Kalkingor on the border of Mongolia and China. During the battle, 40 I-15 fighters were transferred to Mongolia in July 1939. When Germany invaded the Soviet Union in 1941, more than 1,000 I-15s were still in service. At this point, the I-15 was outdated, most of them being relegated to duties in the rear by the following year. A small number of captured I-15 and I-15B fighters were put in service by Finland and Germany. My video about the Soviet Polikabov I-15 fighter answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.